What is up guys, Edgar here, lifestylesdefined.com. Welcome back to LD Photo. In front of me, I have a picture, or in front of you, you have a picture of a couple. And what I'm going to do in this video is kind of show you my processing, or my process for edit editing this photo. Uh, just so you guys get an idea of what to do, especially if you are just now starting to do portraiture or couples or family shoots and things like that. I'm just going to kind of give you my process and how I work, uh, my workflow with this type of photograph. So I have a couple in front of me here. The first thing I'll do is duplicate my layer, which I've already done by clicking Control J or Command J. And as you can see, my layer is already selected here. So one of the first things I noticed when I opened this raw file is the blue hue that I have in this picture so a little more of a cool tone what I'm gonna do is warm it up a little bit by going into the color balance and I'm going to go into the mid tones and change the slider to a more yellow color actually you know what I'm gonna go into the shadows bring this down a little bit give a little bit of a pink hue and then a little bit of red and that right there gets rid of that blue hue that you saw on screen just a second ago i'm going to also drag this and drop it into my background layer there so that all of my adjustments will go under that background layer uh, the next thing i'll do now that i've adjusted that color is i'm going to actually merge these together so the way you do that is just select your background go into layer and then merge and now I have a new pixel layer here to work with. I can turn this one off now. Uh, now, one of the things that I like to do to make my subject pop from the background is separate them from the background. So what you do, or what I do, is go into my uh, selection brush here. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to increase the size here. And I'm going to just select the couple and I'm not going to be super picky here because I'm doing it just for the purpose of showing you guys my workflow. So I'm not going to go into some crazy detail, uh, but just to show you kind of what I do here. Uh, this may take a little while, so let's go ahead and just hurry it up. Uh, and this tool is actually pretty smart. It's actually most of the time it works flawlessly. You don't have to do a lot of uh, crazy detail with it. So I'm really glad that this tool works as well as it does. So just for this rough draft here, I'll say that this is good to go. But one of the things you can do is refine. So let's go ahead and refine. This is usually what I do when there's a lot of hair in the photo or anything like that. So I'll refine this section here, hair, hair, hair on this side. And then obviously I missed that little section right there and I'm just gonna do that there and it should be good now once you're happy with what you've got go ahead and then apply the change now what you do is control j so control j and then control d to the select so what i've done now is created two layers one of the foreground so the couple and one of the background layer Whoop background layer there so now I can work on both of these individually uh, one of the things I'll do first is go into the background here and I'm going to do a curves adjustment here so I'll make it a little bit darker here and just to make my couple pop a little more make it a little bit darker I'm gonna drag this down to my background layer I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of vibrance to it where's it at there it is right there just a little bit of vibrance to it and now i'm going to go into my couples layer go ahead and hit the uh, curves adjustment i'm going to bring them up a little bit and i'm going to drag it down into the couples layer so that it only affects them so as you can see here this does not affect the background just the couple and like i said that tool selection tool is very intelligent and it did a really good job of just selecting the couple so I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit and then bring down this section here the darks just a little bit 
Uh, and you know what? I'm going to actually go into the background and warm it up just a little bit. In fact, I think I'm going to do an HSL adjustment here. I'm going to go into my yellows and maybe change them a little bit. There we go. See, it goes from a greenish to more of a yellowish hue. That's kind of what I like to do there. And go into my greens and kind of do the same thing there. That doesn't change much, so I just leave it like it is. And just to show you that change on the background, we go into my background layer here, the HSL adjustment that just changed the background just a little bit. Um, I'm going to kind of do the same thing with a couple here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go in here and I'm going to give them a little, a little bit of a warmth tone. There we go, just right there. I think that's pretty good right there. Uh, and just to show you the difference, it's really subtle, but you can tell the difference there. The skin tones look a little more natural right there. Uh, so let's say I like everything here and I wanna make, I wanna go ahead and merge everything together. What you do is highlight both of these. So hold down shift, click and click. It'll highlight both of these groups, go into your layer and then merge visible. And that's going to give me a whole new pixel layer of all of the adjustments that I made to each separate pixel layer there. So now I have this new pixel layer here and let's just call it new. And now this is my new canvas. I get to work on this now. So let's say I wanna make it look a little more cinematic um, just to give it a nice little twist. One of the things that you can do for that is actually give it another curves adjustment here. Or actually one thing you can do is lens filters. This is just a little too much now because I've already given them a warmth tone. Um, so I'm just gonna do 25% of this orange filter color. And I'm gonna drag this down to my new pixel layer. And then the other thing, and the one thing that makes it look a little more cinematic, uh, I believe is the another curves adjustment. So I'll add a little pin there and then one right here. And what I'm going to do is just move this slightly up just a little bit. And I'm gonna move this just a hair right there. That little adjustment there, let me bring this a little closer for you guys, just so you can see. This is without that curves adjustment, this is with it. it. Just gives a little more of a cinematic feel to it. And again, I'm just going real quick here, nothing too crazy, just to show you guys what you can do with some processing. Um, so the more portraits you do, the more practice you get with uh, editing or processing people and skin tones and things like that, the better you'll get. Um, eventually you'll come up with your own style. But this right here, this curves adjustment just gives it a nice cinematic look. In fact, the other thing you can do is actually give it a denoise, even though this is not a noisy shot. Sometimes doing this just gives it, uh, it gives a little bit of softness to make it a little bit better, but I like it the way it is, so I'm going to go ahead and delete and delete that denoise. And uh, let me bring it up a little closer again. And now what I'm going to show you is the difference uh, from the, the actual raw file and what we have now. So let me go ahead and select this right here. So this is what it looks like now, and this is the actual raw file. So there is a huge difference between this and this. And in fact, let me zoom it out just a little bit more so you can kind of get a, a nice look at it. So this is the actual raw file, and this is what you end up here. So this is actually doing it with Affinity Photo, not Photoshop, not Lightroom. Affinity Photo is my, my go-to software when it comes to editing. Um, I think it is amazing. Uh, I love the different personas. That, uh, that Affinity Photo has the workflow, makes it a little more simple and seamless for me. But anyway, this was just a video to show you guys kind of my process 
for editing portraits or couples or families. Um, a lot of times I use that selection tool to really bring out my subjects. I extract them from the background, edit the background and my subject separately, uh, and then merge them together to give you this look right here. If you want more videos like this one, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, check us out on Instagram, and as always, leave your comments. We love your feedback. My name is Edgar, signing off. Peace. <laughs> well, I guess, and the reason we started Lifestyles to Find is because uh, if we weren't on camera arguing about these things, the technologies, the phones, the iPhones, the Androids, the cameras, the games, We'd be on the phone arguing about it. <laughs> We'd be in each other's houses arguing about it. So why not just put it in front of a camera for everyone to enjoy it the way we do? That's what Lifestyles the Finest is all about. We just love it.